Hey everybody, I'm out here painting some plastic car parts for my 88 GMC Sierra and I figured I'd go ahead and make a video of all the steps I gotta take to uh, go ahead and get them painted how I want. So real quick, here's the grill. The original grill was chrome and I wanna paint match the grill so I went ahead and got a new aftermarket one and um, prepped it up and it's ready to get clean and painted. This long piece right here is attached with push pins to the bottom of the grill and these two other pieces right here attached to the fenders. These are the original parts. I went ahead and just sanded them down. We're going to go ahead and use them. Real quick, just a quick overview. I'm going to go through every step, but these are all the things you're going to need to paint your plastic car parts. Um, here's some automotive wipe balls. There's the towels you want to use. You want to make sure that you use automotive ones so they don't have any lint. We're going to use alcohol to clean the parts with real good. Then we're gonna follow that up with, we're gonna spray some adhesion promoter on there. This is gonna make your uh, plastic parts more adhesive for the base coat and it makes the paint more flexible because plastic flexes a lot more than steel so your paint won't crack with this. Then we're gonna follow it up with some white sealer and then base coat and clear coat. And you're gonna need some mixing cups. And I use uh, paint strainers. You wanna, you wanna strain everything that you pour in your paint cup. So you definitely wanna get some of these. And then, this is just a preference of mine, but when I paint these small parts, I like to use this 3M AccuSpray gun. It's a, not a bad price little gun. It's all plastic, really easy to clean. Um, you can change the um, atomizing heads on it for different fluid size tips and we'll go through that each step but I know everybody likes to use different guns but that's what I'm just using on these small parts so uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I need to do to prep this grill up so I'm out here sanding off the front grill and you can see when it comes in when it's new it's real shiny there's a real shiny finish to it and what you want to do is you want to kind of dull that up. You don't want any shiny spots on there because the paint and the sealer and all that stuff won't stick. So what I use is a gray scotch pad. You don't want to use a red because it'll actually gouge and scratch the plastic. And you want to go ahead and you can see how I've already went over this and it's not shiny, it's dull. And you want to get in there real good. You know, just sand around. You want to make sure you get in all the crevices and stuff like that and uh, just knock the shine off of it. The side over here you can see I still got to do so just gonna go through there get all the nooks and crannies so that you know that your products are gonna adhere to it real well okay so now that we got the grill and the other pieces sanded got them scuffed up and prepped I got them in here and I have the grill sitting on this little paint stand you can get these stands for $25 they're well worth it I taped off the center part of the grill that I don't want to get paint on because I want to paint that part black. And what I did with these pieces is I went ahead and just hung them from uh, my garage door frame. It works really good. Just use some wire coat hangers and I'm just going to hang them up like this. Uh, another big tip, I like to keep water hose in the garage when I'm painting and keep the floor wet, keeps the dust down. Dust won't come up off the floor and float in the air and land on your pieces that you're painting. It works really well. So what we got to do next is we need to clean these pieces. And what I'm going to do is here, we're going to use the alcohol that I showed you and get this at any store and the white balls, the automotive white balls. And you don't want to just douse the grill in alcohol. You want to put the alcohol on the rag and wipe off the piece that you're painting. That's what you want to do with that and make sure you wear gloves when you're doing that as well because the grease from your hands and stuff like that can contaminate your plastics or anything that you paint and that'll cause fish eyes when you go to spray any kind of material so you want to keep everything as clean as possible so we're going to go ahead and do that and then i'll show you the next guy so i got the panels all wiped off with alcohol and wipe all wipes uh one little tip this just might be me and i might be incorrect on this but when i like to wipe down a panel i like to just wipe it in in one motion one way i don't like to sit there and kind of 
scrub like this because the way I think about it, I feel like if there is an impurity there, I might be pushing it into that plastic. So when I wipe something down, I just like to go in one direction best I can. But that's just me. So the next thing we got to do is we're going to spray our adhesion promoter. And I'm just, I'm using this uh, Bulldog. That's what I'm using. It works good. Um, biggest thing I can tell you on spraying any of these products is read the instructions on how they want to be sprayed. Don't do what you think it needs unless you have a lot of experience. So this says to shake well, use the spray gun tip 1.2 to 1.4. And this stuff's really thin, so I'm gonna go ahead with the smaller tip and I'm gonna use a 1.2 millimeter. And follow the coating instructions. Just, just don't do what you want and then when you have a bad result, just blame it on the product. Like give the product a chance. Do what it says you need to do. Okay, so now we have our two coats of adhesion promoter sprayed on the pieces. Just how the company recommends it on the bottle. The coat times, everything. Came out pretty good. I'm glad I went with the 1.2 millimeter tip. I think it sprayed it really good and it flowed really good out of the gun. Biggest thing I recommend, use a paint respirator. I only have mine off right now, so I can talk on the camera, but you need to get a respirator made for paint because these products are dangerous to breathe in. So next what we need to do is we need to come over here and mix up our sealer. I'm using a white, a white sealer because red covers white really good, quick. So I need to mix that up per the manufacturer's specs. And um, as soon as my adhesion promoter coat time is flashed off, we're gonna go ahead and spray that on. Okay, we have our panels all sealed up. Use that white sealer. Came out fantastic. As you can see, there's no fish eyes. So with no fish eyes, it means that there was nothing dirty or contaminated, no oils. Looks great. Couldn't be happier with it so far. I haven't talked a lot about what products to use because frankly, I'm not a professional. I don't have any automotive body experience, paint experience. I am a technician, but I don't do any kind of paint work for a living ever. I've learned it all myself in the garage, just watching videos and trial and error. But for this sealer, I did end up using a PPG product because I'm using a PPG base coat. So, and this is actually an epoxy primer, but you can mix it to spray as a sealer. And the mix for that was, um, two to one to one half with acetone. So it came out great. Um, it says in the material data sheet, which is what you want to look at on all your products, follow the instructions. And as you can see, it says to top coat 60 minutes for this product. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait 60 minutes before we spray our base coat. I'll bring you back after we spray the base. All right, so we waited an hour, like the instruction said for our sealer, and I came out and sprayed two coats of base. Now I'm using PPG Deltron uh, base coat for this, and this is their Torch Red, which is, if you see my other videos, this is the color of the truck. Uh, this base coat flashes pretty fast, usually five minutes. Sometimes as soon as you spray, all your pieces is already ready for a second coat. So I put two coats on there because I put two coats on all the other parts in the truck and the white sealer, you know, the red covers it really quickly. So it came out fantastic, no cracking. So we know everything's adhering correctly. So what we're going to come do now is um, we're going to do about two, maybe three coats of clear and that should do it. I'll bring it back after I spray the clear. All right, so we got three coats of clear applied on all of our parts. Came out very well. I can't be happier with it. Especially for somebody at home just painting in their garage, it turned out really good. Very little trash in it. One tiny little speck there. I can live with that. I could wet sand it out if I want to, but we'll see. Look really good. Not even 
very peely at all. We, uh, we got three nice coats on it. I think it's gonna turn out great. Got all these pieces done. To me, the key to this whole thing is keep the floor wet. If you keep that floor wet, keep your hose in here, just keep spraying it every time it looks like it's gonna start drying up, and we keep the dust on the floor. You won't have any stuff floating in there, you won't get any trash in your parts, but I'm gonna let this dry for a little while. I got a little filter, little fan and filter going, trying to suck up some of this overspray, and then uh, I'll bring you outside when it's all dried up or dried up enough to at least sit in the sun. All right, so we got um, all the pieces done. Got them outside sitting in the sun. Figured maybe the sun will help the solvents escape out of the parts. But um, the reason I wanted to come out here at the end is that I had bought a grill and those other three pieces and took them to a body shop to have them painted. Uh, mainly because I've, I've painted this whole truck myself, but mainly because I was really busy at the time. I just wanted to have somebody else get them done and I had tried painting classic parts before and had a little bit of trouble but um i had to redo everything because i was just extremely disappointed with how everything came out and i'll just show you some of the things i was i'm talking about like um camera's probably not gonna pick it up but down there you can still see it's black the color of plastic because they didn't even use any sealer on anything and parts of it they just didn't coat it well at all you see how dry that is over where the sun is in this area it's because they didn't get a nice even coat on everything so i was extremely disappointed and they painted this black for me like i wanted but the black just scrapes off of my finger so extremely disappointed and since they didn't use a white sealer the paint doesn't match my truck because it takes a lot more coats to cover black but um, when it came out pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. Now I will give it to them that they laid the, the finish down a little smoother for the most part than I did, but I have way less trash in it and it matches. And I know everything's right on it because I used adhesion promoter and the paint won't peel off. I'll show you these other pieces. These were the biggest problems. So when I got these pieces back from the body shop, this paint area had a little crack in it and this you can just peel the paint off of this look at that look at that no sealer no nothing just black plastic this one had a crack in it as well peel the paint right off they ran the heck out of this piece i don't know if you can see it there you go they ran the heck out of it paint chipping off of there this piece has so much trash and you see all the trash all the specks look like glitter that's trash it's dirt unbelievable anyway I had to I just did it myself and I used all the steps I showed you and everything came out great biggest thing I think that worked was using the adhesion promoter you need that on plastic parts that's probably why I had trouble before is I didn't use it and it, it worked fantastic and um yeah using the sealer got to use the sealer you have to but anyway thanks for watching the video like comment subscribe i'll see you on the next one